Once the bitches start to get a little bit of concealer, they start to Good morning guys, so I'm like stiff because I have my face mask on, like my face just needed, you know, some loving, but yeah, so it's Saturday morning and I just wanted to come on and tell you guys my agenda for today, Tyler is still in the bed sleeping, let me see what time it is. I don't know where my phone is. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 8.23 a.m. Have a good weekend for me, sir. Oh, 8.23. Tyler is still asleep with his crazy self. Um, My agenda for today, I have baby shower to go to. So today is Brianna's little sister's baby shower. So at 3 o'clock, I'm going to do Bri's makeup. And then at 5, I have to do Dana's makeup. And then afterwards, I'm going to come home and get dressed. And then I'm going to go to the shower. So, the invite says the shower starts at 7.30. I should be there about no later than 8 o'clock. Yeah, no later than 8 o'clock. So, that's what's on the agenda for now. So, right now, I'm just letting this face mask sit until my timer goes off. Wash some dishes, get in the shower. <clears throat> You know, wait for Tyler to wake up, have some breakfast. And yeah, that will be what today is. And what else? Mm, I got to think of an outfit because I had a whole outfit together and now I don't want to wear it anymore. So I got to think of a new outfit. I was going to wash and blow dry my hair, but I decided that I don't want to put heat on my hair right now until it's time for me to get my hair done. So I just braided um, the two my two blonde pieces in the front I just braided them just now so that by the time I take them out later they'll have like a little crinkle and then I'll put my hair in like some type of bun like messy bun something something because I just don't want to um, wash my hair and blow dry right now and then run the flat iron through it just to turn around in a few days do it again so that I could um, get it braided you know so that is that I'll probably come back to you guys once I start doing Brianna's makeup and yeah so see you guys later
different tonight. Once bitches start to get a little bit of concealer, <laughs> they start to activate, okay? <laughs> a little lash and a little concealer. Baby check. Hey guys, so I look a little crazy, but I just got home from doing Dana's makeup and I'm about to get myself together really quick. Um, I need to make something of this hair. So I think I told y'all earlier, I left, I braided the blonde pieces of my hair. So I could have two bangs down and it could be crinkly. And then as far as this mess, um, let me see if I can get in a bun or something. I don't know, but I need to do that real quick. Shower. I already know what I'm wearing. I put together this cute shebang. Let me cut the lights on in here. Oh, crap. Hold on, you guys. Cut these lights on. It's still kind of like dark. All right, let me show you guys what I'm going to wear. So, Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, are you okay? My Saturday's been most satisfactory. Alexa, what time is it? It's 7.51 p.m. Okay, so 7.51. The shower's supposed to start at 7.30, but, you know, we on black people time, so it's running a little bit later than that, and that's okay. All right, so I have this sweater. These army pants. Thinking about wearing my earrings from 11.30 and these shoes and i was thinking about pairing them with my brandon blackwood bag i think it's a vibe i think it's a look my bag is in the top of the closet but you guys know how the bag looks anyway hey guys so i'm dressed i'm trying to like okay got it so my outfit came together really cute and i wanted my hair to be like curly here i probably should have did the curliness hold up alexa stop I probably should have done like the braids in the front last night instead of this morning, but it's okay. So you can kind of sort of see the fit here. It's cute. I don't know what the fuck be the tea with this blurry shit. So yes, yeah, army pants, the shoes. Let me go in the bathroom. Okay, I'm in the bathroom. So. Um, my earrings are from 11.30. I love these earrings. My sweater is from Pretty Little Thing. My army pants are from Fashion Nova. And these cutesy heels are from Pretty Little Thing too. So, I'm feeling the look. Um, my hair is going to be super sweated out in a minute, but it's okay. Alexa, what time is it? It's 9.05 p.m. Oh, I got to get out the door. Okay, I'm, I'm about to leave out of my crib. All right, guys, so late as fuck. I'm walking to the front. Nicole's supposed to be up here waiting for me. Look at my two pieces flying. I got my slides here. I can't wait to put these bitches on because, hey, hey. Nicole! I doubt she's still up here waiting for me. This wind is blowing crazy. That bitch is late as fuck. Nicole! I think she here for me, y'all. Come on here.
He's having breakfast. Um, Papa, eat the bananas, boo. And today I'm cooking oxtail. So I wanted to show you guys my oxtails. I marinated them. I seasoned them last night and I let them marinate in the fridge overnight. So I want to show you guys. They look so good. Hold on. So this is thin. Hold on, hold on. Doesn't that look so good? But I forgot to add, how do you pronounce this? Worcestershire? I forgot to add that and I forgot to add some soy sauce. So I'm going to do that and then mix it back up and put it back in the fridge until... I don't know what time I want to start them. I'm going to make them in the crock pot. I forgot how many hours I'll be cooking for guys i'm back um i put my robe on because it's a little chilly in here i'm about to put tyler's robe on too i do have the window open but i don't want to close them because I, I want the fresh air in but it is a little bit chilly but it's comfortable but it's a little bit chilly but yeah so sunday dinner is going to be the oxtails i'm going to add some butter beans and into the because into the crock pot because i'm gonna make it in a crock pot some white rice and some cabbage and that will be dinner and it's a rainy Sunday, so I'll probably go get some wine and just chill at home with me and Papa. So, I just wanted to, like, press on. Why is my child yelling like that? Screaming, rather. I just wanted to press on, like, a topic because the last vlog that I posted at the end of that vlog, um, it was, like, where I was putting the pictures in the picture book of Tyler and Brie had came over. There was a piece of that vlog that I was vlogging that I didn't add into it. But I was basically saying that I was just on a journey, wanting to go on a journey of just being by myself with me and my son because it got to the point where God kept sending me signs that that's what I needed to do. And I knew that that's what was happening because a lot of the relationships around me I started to question or become wary of. Um, and at first I was kind of like pushing against it, like, no, no, because I want to keep my relationships but it's it's not my plan, you know what I'm saying? So, um, whatever the case is, I just want to I just want to say like always have your eyes open to how people are treating you. And sometimes somebody doesn't have to necessarily be treating you so bad. And this goes for friendships and relationships, brother and sister, mom and dad, dad dad and son. Like I'm talking about all relationships because a lot of them go hand in hand, especially uh, girlfriend, I'm sorry, especially relationships and um, friendly relationships. Pay attention to how people are treating you. Take offense to stuff. And what I mean by that is watch how they treat other people. If they say things to other people, if they won't say things to other people but will say those things to you or they won't do those things to other people but will do those things to you, like pay attention to that shit because um, that's telling you how they feel about you. And I've always been a person where I'll consider somebody in the things that they do because we have history. And not for nothing, that history stops meaning shit when that person is not, when those people are not valuing, valuing you. When somebody picnics at everything you do, finds everything to make an issue, like you got to get that shit out your space. You should be able to speak freely. I'm not saying be disrespectful and nasty, but you should be able to speak freely and express yourself um comfortably within your relationships it shouldn't be like 
you just the worst person in the world just for making commentary, especially if it's not coming from a disrespectful place. Um, there were a few relationships in my world that some I didn't see to go to crumbles to shit and others I knew needed to end, but I was still kind of egging them on because again, you have history and you want them to work, but sometimes it's just not, it just doesn't work that way. So I got to the point where I was like, yo, I just need to be by myself. And I think even me not including the clip in the video was my way again of like pushing against it. But I knew the best way for me to be was with me and my son. And what I mean by that is when it's days when I'm in, in my house and I'm just like, oh, bored and, you know, I want company. Don't call that bad company. Just be with you and your kid. Go through your emotions. Like get back to get back to you because the reality of it is. Who I have is my child. And if I didn't have him, it would just be me. But, you know, luckily I have my baby and I love him dearly. So, you know, I just knew it was like, yo, it's time for you to be just you and your son and focus on you. Because the majority of the relationships you have are no longer serving you. And I said in the other clip that I never posted that I basically felt like I needed to start weeding certain things out. Because I was realizing ways and people that I didn't care for. And it's okay, but sometimes things become... A little bit too negative and too heavy on me and I'm not obligated to take on anybody else's shit but my own and if there were to be something with my child I'm not obligated to anybody just as nobody is obligated to me and so um, I had to really go through my emotions and accept the fact that okay it's time for you to let let go of shit because I wasn't seeing clearly and I felt heavy most days like I felt very weary like I felt uncomfortable but I wasn't realizing that it was because I needed to have certain people out of my life and I was pushing against it. And I think once I was pushing against it enough, God started forcing it. Like, okay, you, you want to play these games, bitch? I got you. I'm you going to get these motherfuckers out. And it's okay. Like, people are weird. Like, sometimes people do not have your best interest at heart. And as hurtful as that can be, sometimes it takes for you to get to, like, your wit's end to realize it. Like, oh, shit. I may have thought some of the things that these people were doing were good or beneficial or coming from a kind, loving place, but it wasn't. Some, certain things are disguised. Certain people just want to be in your space because they want to see where you're going and see how you're moving so that they could go there with you or they could bring you down. Or they could say that they were going through, going going with you through those processes so that they could have bragging rights and shit like that. And then what people have to realize and what I had to realize was sometimes people just using you. And... It's not about materialistic things all the time. It's not like, oh, she got money, so I want to go sit around her all day. Somebody will know your vibe is good. Somebody will know, you know, you're a good person and you have good intentions for them. So they want to sit around you and use you and soak you dry. Meanwhile, none of the shit is reciprocated. Like, none of it is giving back. Relationships are give and take, not give, 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 or another person take, take, take. I want relationships that are give and take. I want people to show up for me because I always make sure to show up for people. Like, anybody who knows me personally and anybody who I've had relationships with or still have relationships with, the one thing you cannot say about me is that I don't show up for or show love to the people that I love. And, and sometimes it's to a fault. Like, sometimes it's to a fault. And... I'm realizing that people that I had in my space, it's not genuine. Like, you have to pay attention. When people say, oh, things are not that serious, don't take it serious. No, take shit personal. If you, invited to somebody to, if you invited somebody to a birthday dinner and they didn't come, but they went to their friend shit, their other friend shit, take that shit personal. Okay? Like, you have to pay attention to those details because sometimes it's like people feel like, who gives a fuck? Like, I don't got to do that for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to really watch out for those things and... I'm in a, I'm like, I feel like I'm tunnel vision right now. Like, I see through everything. Like, and yes, maybe it took me longer than it needed to take me to remove myself from, from certain things, but it's okay. And sometimes, you know, people don't have bad intentions for you. That's another part of it. Sometimes people don't have bad intentions for you, but for whatever reason, and maybe these reasons will be unbeknownst to us, you stop aligning with people that you've had relationships with for years and years. You, and you don't know why. You know, like, the, the piece of the puzzle just doesn't fit anymore. Like, it just doesn't fit anymore. And it may be hurtful, but you have to find a way for it to be okay. And that doesn't mean that just because you and that person aren't aligned anymore that it has to be beef. It has to be malice. Like, it's just for whatever reason, the, the puzzle ain't fitting no more. And 
for the time that they were in your lives, you know, each you were in each other's lives, you guys served each other in whatever ways that you did, you created memories, and you have those things to hold on to, but it's time to let certain things go, and that's where I'm at right now, like, I just want to be with me and my son, as hard as it is, like, as hard as it is to not want to pick up the phone and say, yo, come over, let's do this, let's chill, like, I have to really get back into the swing of just me and my kid, because that's what my reality is, and until the right people surface and show me that they really here and riding for me, I don't want nobody in my space, because once you start to realize how people treating you fucked up, and you speak on it, then they mad at you, right, so it's just like, this is your world, and you get to choose what you want in your space and what you don't want in your space. And right now, what I want in my space is just me and my son so that the right things can align. Because I was just entertaining people that I should have stopped entertaining very long ago. People just literally don't have my best interests at heart. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to get that off my chest because I feel like it could be a word for other people that are probably watching. And... I should have put it in my last vlog where I was where I was at mentally in terms of relationships, but I didn't. But like I said, I think that was still me like being in denial and saying like, no, 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 like you don't want to let go of these relationships, but no, you need to let go. Like if it's not serving you, you need to let go. I was entertaining many relationships that were not serving me in any way. Meanwhile, I feel like I'm just bending over backwards. You know what I'm saying? And you should not have to feel like you jumping through fucking fire hoops for a motherfucker to feel like they're going to respect you or carry the right way. You should not do that because with the right people, it will align. You won't have to do much. It will just align. So that's just where I'm at, guys. And yeah, so I hope that that word reached somebody else and it's helpful like if it's time to let go just let go and you're gonna go through your emotions of feeling some type of way about it but i just sit here and think about everything that i've been through in life literally i'm 28 and i feel like i've been through so much fucked up shit but like i'm okay through everything that i've gone through i'm okay certain things may carry more trauma or certain things may carry you know things that may hit me at random moments but like, I'm okay, you know? So I have happy days, and I'm just like, life always goes on. And that's what I've learned over the years. Life goes on. There was a quote that I reposted on Instagram before. I don't remember it word for word, but it was saying something like, you get your heart broken, you lose this car, you lose that friend, you know, you had this dream, it didn't go through. But guess what? Life always goes on and that's that's just like the best part of it like you don't have to stay stuck in anything and the power is in you you don't need that now motherfucker that's negative in your space i won't say you don't need people because that i don't believe in i believe that as humans we all need people here's my son come here baby i believe that as humans we all need people but we need good people we need supportive people we need genuine people we need people that love us for real you good baby we need people that love us for real not people that want to come around when it's beneficial to and not people that want to come around when it's convenient to them and not people who can't be available for baby yes honey hey go go go, go. Go, Papa. Go, go, go. <laughs> I love you. Um, You know, we need those type of people. We don't need no bad people. So let life take its toll. If, if you're getting signs that motherfuckers need to get out, let the motherfuckers go. The power is in you. All you need is you. Go. And if you got kids, you know, your kids too because... Your kids are your kids, you know what I mean? So in my case, like I said, I have my son, so all I need is me and my son. But if I were to be a person who didn't have kids, it would just be me until the right people aligned. I got a whole life ahead of me. Like, so many different things can transpire. So many different things can happen. If you have relationships that you've had since you were younger and they've carried on to your adulthood, which is mainly my case, um, and they and they continue to blossom and they continue to flourish. They continue to be, you know, conducive to or loving. Great. But sometimes those relationships are those same motherfuckers that you have to let go. People start to get jealous. People start to get careless. People start to get envious. And I've never been a person to feel like people were any of those things of me. But I want y'all to understand motherfuckers are and it's not 
always about the materialistic things. It's about your vibe. It's about your heart. It's about the way you love. It's about how others love on you. You have to pay attention to that shit because people do get very jealous and envious of that shit. So, baby, sit right, baby. So, that was my word for today. Um, at some point, I'm going to go to the store and get some wine because, like I said, it's a rainy Sunday. I want to get on the couch and watch some movies. I need to fold some laundry. I think I'm going to watch Celebrity White Sock because when I was younger, I really used to love watching um, Nanny Nanny 911, I think it is, and um, White Swap. But now, as the years have gone on, they've changed it to... Tyler probably going to get me copywritten. Y'all yeah, just thought about that as I'm sitting here. Um, they changed it to Celebrity White Swap. So I'm about to get into that. I'm going to show you guys my dinner when it's done. And yeah, I feel like I just went on a really long rant. But the last two vlogs that I've posted, and even this one, I feel like I'm not really talking much in my videos. Like I'm more like getting moments speeding them up and putting music and i love those vibes but i do want to like sh let my personality shine through a little bit more because i literally started youtube so many years ago and i just was never consistent but whatever the case is the videos that i were posting before like i've grown so much like my person has changed like i'm still no. nini and if you hear me say nini throughout my vlogs it's because my nickname, my childhood nickname is Nini, and it just carried into my adulthood. So, yeah, and Tyler even calls me Nini, too, so you guys will probably hear him say that sometimes, either Nini or Mommy. But, yeah, um, I've changed so much. I've grown so much, so I want to let, like, my my personality shine through more. And not only that, I've I've become, because of everything that I've gone through, I've, I've carried, like, a lot of wisdom. Tyler, you serious, Pop? Say excuse me. He just farted on my leg. He just farted on my leg. But yeah, I, don't, I have a lot of wisdom. Like, I don't know. I guess it just comes with going through life and going through shit. So I want to share those things more. And like I said, when I'm speaking to you guys, somebody this can resonate with somebody else and help somebody else. And that's what we here for, girl. Like, I'm here to empower my groups and my guys or whatever. So... You guys got to stay tuned. And I'm going to Atlanta soon. If you know, you know, I love Georgia. Like, I'm supposed to be there. I am not supposed to be in New Jersey. So, I'm going there for Thanksgiving. I'm going to vlog that too. So, you guys got to stay tuned because it's about to be up. It's about to go up.